Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be taking all these shafts and converting them into one usable shaft. And the reason for it is this piece originally was on this shaft, so I cut it off. This square is an oddball size. It was 1.19. They do make a square shaft that's that size, but it's ridiculously expensive. And uh, to buy a total new shaft, this has an oddball size yoke. It's about an inch and five eighths, which in itself isn't odd, it's just less common. I had to get a new U joint, so that's why it's apart. But uh, I, either way, I took, um, I was going to have to buy a shaft and then cobble it together anyway to get the right end. So, and it was going to be actually quite expensive. So this is actually going to be cheaper to do, which is take this old shaft off of a baler I'm salvaging. Go ahead and either cut this square off or cut it down lower because the shaft has to be, the longest it has to be for the application is 45 inches. So we'll be measuring this all out to get the right length. And cut it off, put this end in, place where this one was, weld it up, and have a complete shaft that will connect to the tractor. So, here's how they're going to be pieced together. Kind of cleaned up the end, I had a few crush marks on it and laid. And then I gave this a center point so I can put my uh, live center in there, or dead center, doesn't matter and my new square end. <clears throat> I did have to extend this shaft to work on the tractors and a lot of the reason is is because this shaft here, the square portion that's adjustable, was not long enough to accommodate trimming the square piece out right here which all I would have done was uh, round this weld down and uh, <clears throat> he had this tube up and I should have been able to just push it right out. Should have. <laughs> Nice last words. But uh, since that wasn't long enough, and that square goes up to about right in here, and you want that fully supported by this square shaft over here, I ended up having to extend this whole shaft. So right now I'm going to shim it and get it fairly even, give it a couple tacks, and we'll take it over to the lathe and uh, hook a dial indicator on it and get her as straight as I can. It won't be perfect. I did note that between here and here this has a little wobble in the center and uh, this one was fairly straight but I started getting some weird bends through here when I was uh, out on lathe and I was indicating everything just kind of visualizing what's going on with this shaft so I can try to correct some of the issues and that's the problem with PTO shafts is they are just sloppy tolerances. They're usually never balanced um, and very rarely are they perfectly straight. Every time I've taken them apart they have some sort of deformity because they just expect them to spin so slow. So I must have got lucky. So down here it's about a thou. A little bit of wiggle. I'm not too concerned about it because uh, you can see there's some uh, marks on it so <clears throat> but that's without any adjustment that's just straight up using a straight edge and giving her two tacks and I expected it to pull out but heck for that little bit of wobble I've had PTO shafts brand new that were uh, worse than that you see that's where I drilled the five cent earlier Just to give you an idea how the setup is. We'll go on over here. Turn it over. See, I also got some pipe stuff there. So, to give you an idea. It's the same swing. So, what we're going to do, since it's only two tacks, um, take off my cutting tool so I don't knock anything in that. And put some cloth over my ways, and we'll take my dead blow and kind of hammer it around until I get this pretty dang close. Warped quite a bit after getting it welded, but 
It's kind of an ugly weld too, but uh, burned through a couple times. What can you expect? I mean, I was using stick and I didn't have anything for this light material. So we'll just grab the torch and uh, heat up and cool down opposing sides. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can bring this a little closer. I believe that's close enough. That's going to be close enough here. You notice there's some uh, flaws with the shaft here. Just some of the way it wiggles. So I'd say, I, you know, I'm within 5 thou concerning some of the weird wiggling. Of course, when I spin that way, it looks better, but. Concerning it's rusty as all get out. Should be fine. Had all sorts of funky little flaws in it. Looks like it was just rolled steel and seam welded. Because when you go look down the inside after I cut, it did have a seam, even though you can't see it on the outside here. And here in the jaws, the best I could do is about two th uh, two thou. So this one actually chucked ding near right on the money, other than you know a few of those bounces you can see here. So I believe this will be fine. Let's go ahead. And give her kind of a quick whirl and see what she looks like under her load here. Or not load, but uh, some sort of power. We'll give her 115. Like I said, she is real. Oh hell. I even backed off. It still looks good. There we go. Heck yeah. I think this will work out just fine for a shaft for a pump. So get the U-joint on there and get that get this back out. 